support, right? Uh -huh. right. So look, right. they they give it this this testimony. What well, Evangelist King was read, been reading uh, chapter eight, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. They giving the testimony of the Macedonian church that's in Philippi, that'll be in the book of Philippians. Mm -hmm. But they put it in Corinthians to strengthen the Corinth church. Uh -huh. In other exactly. words, what I'm saying, God wants the entire body right. to be on one accord. Right. Yes, he does. Right? If we read uh, uh, Acts chapter 2 and 4, the Bible said the first century church walked without that. Without they had that. all things come. All right? things come. Thank and God. the way they, they was able to do that is because they, they came into agreement. Just the time. Right? Just the, time. the Bible says in, in, in Acts and 2 and 4, they was on one accord. One accord. That's right. If you read right. Genesis, them people right. that was building that tower, they, mm -hmm. they say they was on one accord. Right. Nothing, nothing would be... Uh -huh. Nothing can stop. Uh -huh. Nothing would be him. Uh -huh. And I'm telling you, that works in a household. Yeah. That works in a company. Go ahead. But it starts from the church. From the church. These things that work in other places, that's, a lot of these things come straight out the Bible. Uh -huh. we, we have to get knowledge of, 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 and understanding on how we should labor. Because the labor force is steady changing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. The technology is coming in. Yes, sir. A lot of things are going to be the same. Yes, sir. They weeding out certain things. Certain things they're going to have again. Amen. Amen. But let me, let me give you a, a nugget. Uh-huh. Technology in the workforce would never go, go beyond scripture. Ah! Hallelujah. Tell you, as we, 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 we got the insight. We got the revelation oh, on all the technology that, that haven't even begun yet. Sir, <laughs> on, my word is for every generation that is going to be born on the earth. Come on, come on, I'm telling you, on, you'll baby. keep up with technology if you familiar yourself with scripture. Ah! Hallelujah. If you begin to, 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 to hear the word of the Lord, you'll begin to be on the cutting edge of life. Yes, Lord. My, 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 the, this church in Macedonia was a poverty stricken church. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. And they were in Philippi. They were in Philippi. And uh, just Read it just for the sake of, of you know, somebody didn't hear Evangelist King, chapter 8, 1, 2, 3. Just the first three verses. Chapter 8 of what? Of our second Corinthians, chapter 8. We just want to read this again to let you know this church was a poor speaking church. Yes, it was. And they were able to use that to their advantage and brought forth their liberality, their freedom. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Evangelist King, chapter 8 of 2 Corinthians well, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Let's read the chapter 8, King James Version, uh, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Moreover, brethren, we do use the wit of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia. Now they in a great trial of affliction, and the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abound unto the riches of their liberality. For to their power I bear record, yea, beyond their power they were willing of themselves. Amen. Look, if you understand that, do you know of, 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 of anybody that's poverty stricken that's going to give beyond their ability? Mm. They don't mm. even go together. Mm -mm. Right? Mm -mm. Just think about that and let no. that soak in your no. mind. No. If you was poverty stricken, even if you was a believer of Christ, mm -hmm. are you going to give to anything for us? Your labor above, above your ability. Above your ability. Unless you're dealing with drugs, alcohol, sex, you know, stuff like that. But for biblical stuff, you ain't going to get involved. You ain't going to get involved. Hey, These people you're was right. able to tap right. into the richest resource known to men, mm -hmm. the Word of God. The Word of God. Look, uh, the Word of God, the, the, the spiritual knowledge of God is the richest resource in the earth. Uh. And I'm telling you, they, they tapped into this. Even though they was deep, they Bible said they was deep in poverty. Deep in poverty. And, and look how many churches throughout the world you can relate this this text to. Mm -hmm. You can relate, relate the Church of Macedonia to a, a whole lot of churches in the earth. Amen. These were believers. They was in deep poverty, and they was on a, a, a great trial of affliction. Great trial of affliction. If you was in deep poverty. Living paycheck to paycheck, and you on the great trials of affliction from, from all from, from all different fields. Could you have the wisdom, as being a believer, accepting Christ, mm -hmm. using your wage to bring you to a, 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 a freedom, a liberality? Uh -huh. that, that, that's hard to do. Yes, Lord. That, that is a very hard to do. In, 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 with a carnal mind. With a carnal mind. In, 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 in a physical sense. Come on now. But what if you had? Spiritual knowledge with that 
uh, situation. Uh -huh. Being part of the spirit. Let me down, John. I'm telling you, these people were part of the spirit in, in a great trial of affliction, but they had spiritual knowledge. Spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. In a way that they, 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 they used it as elevation. In going above their yes, to give out their labor. Okay, well, what was the what was the reason they done this? Because it was some more there was some people more poverty stricken than them in Jerusalem. In other words, there was some saints that was more uh, worse off than them Amen. in Jerusalem. Uh huh. Amen. And so Amen. they heard Amen. the message, and to be honest with you, the message actually started in Corinth, but Corinth started. Given to the poor saints in Jerusalem, but for some reason the Bible don't say they stopped. Uh -huh. And so when Macedonia heard that, they began to do it themselves. And so uh -huh. now what's happening is they are uh, starting to uh, encourage the church of Corinth, hey, y'all need to go back and finish this. Uh -huh. That's why I say you need to complete uh -huh. you need to complete what you started. What? And, help it. what? and I'm trying to tell you, the the best antidote for Labor when you're not getting ahead in life is spiritual knowledge. Let me say knowledge. it again. The best antidote mm -hmm. in labor when you're physically working on a job and you cannot seem to get in ahead in life is to use your weight in understanding spiritual knowledge. Uh, Hallelujah. Lord, Look, Lord, any Lord. any good teacher, Go this is what I'm saying. Go any ahead, any good teachers in the earth uh -huh. that's gonna benefit you is gonna cost somebody some money. Uh -huh. you know, that's uh -huh. anywhere, a college or uh, trade school. If they give you credit and you go there free, somebody still pay for somebody the credit. Somebody still pay for the scholarship. Somebody pay for the you ain't getting paid for somebody. somebody paid. Paid. That's right. And then I'm right. trying to tell you, most people that believe in God. Don't believe them in a sense that they will use their own ways to bring about their liberality. Ah! You don't love God enough to yes, put no. your money in it. Yes, no. He's a God that you can't hurt. Yes. But don't you worry, he's always on time. time. Hallelujah. Yes, 
Verse 11 says, but now you also must complete. complete. <laughs> you know, Colossians says we're complete. Right. We're complete. If you ever want to live a complete life, get in here. The Bible says we're complete. We're complete. In him. In him we're complete. He's complete. complete. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul said, Titus, tell, tell them they need to go on. Go on. To complete. To complete. The doing of it, that as there was a readiness. A desire. A desire. You know what yeah. stops us in the house of God? Take your time. We, we, you can get happy. You can get happy for the word, uh -huh. but then the, the persecution will come. <laughs> <laughs> you can get excited for God. Yes, you can be ready to do everything. Yes, but then yes, you, 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 hit another, you hit another barrier. Yes, and you'll begin to backtrack. Yes, sir. And, yes, back yes, sir. and he, he's hard on when you're trying to get ahead financially. Uh -huh. He comes with everything he got. Yes, Lord. Well, yes. You know, but then you got to learn how to cry in the spirit. Oh, oh hallelujah, Jesus. Go just weep in the spirit. Thank God, Jesus. Go just weep in Thank God, yeah, Jesus. Don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. He said, they'll bring back their seeds with them. Yes, Lord. Those that weep in tears. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You know, Thank first you, First, you got to have everybody say a willing heart. Uh, willing heart. That's in verse 12. You got to have a willing heart. In other words, we have a... Uh, Titus was showing them some things that the Holy Spirit was going to begin to encourage them. Yes, mm. When you speak the word of God, the Holy Spirit gets involved. That's right. Yes, he it gets, does. Get, get to encouraging us. I, I can do this. But you need much encouragement. Much encouragement. He wanted them to complete what they had started. Complete, in complete. Maybe a completion Set out of what John. you have. Set John. But you got to first have a willing mind. A willing mind. David had a willing ah, mind. He encouraged ah, his other people to have a willing mind. A willing mind. It is accepted according to what, what one has, ah, not according to what not he does not have. No, no, Look, for I do not mean that others should be eased and you burdened. Uh -huh. In other words, what? you want equality. Come on now. Come you want us to come into agreement. No, 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 no. In other words, you think nobody should, it shouldn't be just one person prospering in the church. <laughs> That's not good. The whole church needs to see some type of elevation, right? If, if they are in it together, that they are one accord, they should all elevate together. Hallelujah. This should be equality that now at this time in 14, your abundance may supply their lack. They lack. That their abundance also may supply your lack. Your lack. That there may be equality. Word. You know what? He, 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 used a, he used an Old Testament scripture mm -hmm. that was in the book of uh, Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. The Vedicus, one of them books about as it, as it is written, when they, when they had gathered all them quails, mm -hmm. right. and they was about right. by, by the beach, I mean, right. by, by the uh, lake. Uh -huh. And you know, all of them right. had them, and nothing was left over. Nothing was left over. And he had gathered them, had no land. Right. It's gonna rain down quails. That's right. And then the ones that try to get too much and save it, it's stuck. They're stuck. It died. They're wrong. <laughs> right. 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 They try to get too much. They try to get greedy. And that's what he used. That's what he used concerning uh, the people no, of no, Corinth. No, no, no. As it is written, he who gathered much had nothing left over, and he who gathered little had no lack. No lack. He showed yeah, us that no. God is, is, is a person. That should be respected. In other words, he showed us how right, how righteous God is, how righteous, how righteous he is in, in the way he does things. Mm -hmm. He makes sure everybody yeah. has enough. Enough. Say when enough. Jesus fed the five thousand, it was more than enough. More than enough. Right? It, right. They had stuff left over. Uh -huh. well, more than what he started. That's right. That's right. And everybody was full. Oh. Yes, they was. <laughs> Blessed be his name. Blessed be his name. But thanks be to God who put the same earnest care for you into the heart of Titus. The Let me explain that Titus. verse to you in detail. Uh, go ahead. You would, you, you would love to meet a person that has your best interest in yeah, life. That's right. That's right. Titus had a heart for these poverty stricken people. Yes, sir. Right? And he had a heart so much that he wanted to see them elevate. Yeah, okay. His right. teaching was, 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 was to, 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 to elevate them. To, to encourage them uh -huh. what? So, they can, so they can complete what they had started. And you need God to put people on the side of you that's going to encourage you. Yeah, not no. beat you down, but encourage you. Hallelujah. Give you advice on what right, what, what, what is right and not to do. And Titus was that man. Yes, he had right. a heart for, for people. He was Paul's son in the ministry. In the ministry. But he 
not only accepted the exhort exhortation, but being more diligent, he went to you of his own accord. Oh, that's right. He that's wanted right. to go. He, he wanted to see them encouraged. And that's what uh, preachers and evangelists and pro uh, people in the ministry should encourage. Encourage. Encourage their brothers and sisters that's right. in Christ. That's right. And I'm telling right. you, I'm telling you, labor plays a, a vital role in your relationship with God. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. In your relationship with understanding Scripture. In your relationship uh, in having peace. And it plays a vital role because that, that can cause so much wrath in your country that you, you don't have a, 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 a long enough attention span to even hear the Word of God. And I'm telling you, the Word of God... Is a, is, a, is a master that's showing us how to get ahead in our labor. In our labor. And when he had sent them in 18, mm -hmm. and when he has sent with him the brother who's praised this in the gospel throughout all the churches. Uh -huh. Now Titus had a brother that the Bible don't name mm -hmm. that was a, a, a generous giver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he took him along with him. Why? You want to take somebody along with you uh, that understand how to teach labor, yeah. or how to understand giving. And, yeah. and this guy was with them. They don't mention his name, mm -hmm. but guess what? They was talking about him throughout all the churches, all the churches. of the land. Mm -hmm. So he came with Titus. Paul had both of them to go to, to encourage the church of Corinth. Corinth. And he My said, Lord. and not only that, that and listen, listen to what else he says that's real power within the churches. Jesus himself, he said, and not only in verse 19 there, uh -huh. but who was also chosen yeah. by oh, church. the churches mm -hmm. and to travel, travel with us us uh, with this, this gift, mm -hmm. right, which is administered by us to the glory of the Lord himself. The Lord himself. And to show uh, your ready mind. Your in other words, mind. he's saying the Lord himself was this type of person. Uh -huh. The Lord himself was a person, you know, th that was a uh, person that helped and gave and opened blind eyes and raised the dead and fed yes, multitudes. Yes, sir. In other words, this was Jesus' life. Jesus. And it, they, they said that what this brother was doing was bringing glory, what, to the Lord, to the Lord himself. himself. <laughs> Avoiding this, that anyone should claim this in his land of gift, which is administered by us. Providing honorable things, not only in the sight of Lord, but also you. in the sight of me. I hear you. Amen. When we have sent with them our brother, whom we have often proved diligent in yeah. many things. Mm -hmm. But now much more diligent because of the great confidence which we have in you. In you. But uh, you know what? God speaks things over you that you haven't came into, into you. Into and you. The Bible, oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Holy, but you know, we haven't God. came into the spiritual growth. Yeah, but God it. give you that before you have gotten to that place. That's right. In other words, That's the right. word is like this. Here. God say things to you that you can't believe yourself. Yes, That's right. right. That's but right. the longer you believe, you begin to walk in them. I you walk in them. It. it may take time. It may take years. Yeah. But what God said about you will come to pass. Oh, 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 hallelujah. Starting off 
as a babe in Christ. Baby Christ. He helps us along the way. That's yes, right. he does. Look at verse 23. If anyone inquires about Titus, look mm. what Paul said about Titus. He is my partner and fellow worker. That's right. Concerning you. Uh, if you the brother are in, inquired about, they are messengers of the churches of the glory of Christ. Yes. Therefore, show to them and before the churches. The proof of your love. Of your love. Of your boasting on your behalf. On your behalf. You know what? The love got to be there. And Paul, yeah, Paul suffered enough that he understood how to work. Uh, he he said, you know what? If you suffer enough, you, you, you'll learn how to love. <laughs> yes, if, you I mean, if you suffer enough while you're serving the Lord. Right? Yes, Lord. Let me yes, Lord. Then. If you suffer enough while you serve, serve the right. either you're going to quit right. or you're going to learn. Hallelujah. Yeah, you my love. You're going to get one of them. You stay in this long enough. Serve and you begin to understand out of the suffering that he loved you. Yes. Oh, oh, hallelujah. You know what? He truly loves you. Yes, yes he, he does. does. You know what you're going to do? You're going to start to say, you know what? I can love others. That's yes, right. Lord. Right. Because as bad as I was, he yet loved me. Yes, mm. And he yet blessed me. Oh, yes, in Lord, in spite of, of me. In spite of and that will cause you to think on another way. Yes, Lord. You say, I think on the mind of Christ. Yes, Lord. You know, then it begin to give you thoughts that's not your thoughts. Yes, Lord. coming out of the scriptures. Yes, Lord. You're saying, you'll start to say things that you don't know why you're saying. Yes, Lord. You'll change all that language you used to speak. Yes, and you'll start speaking nothing but the word of God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. When you come to a situation, you won't cuss them out. No, no. you can just speak the word. Speak the word. Understanding how to what to, to get into the good life. 
This lady here told me, no, you don't need to pay bills and make groceries all the time. I want you to get to the good. <laughs> oh, hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> hallelujah! It don't look like you don't never worry about food. That's right. Go to John 6. Right. Go John 6, uh, verse 27. Jesus said, I want, John. Saint John, I want to show you a label that's not for food, but for the word. For the word. Yes, Lord. Go to John 6. Yes. You get the same man. Yes, Lord. What if you start working Amen. and laboring for wisdom out of the word? Yes, Lord. Not eat. You got it. How did John 6? Uh, 27. You can't say amen. Labor not. That's, that's, that's it. Labor not. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus was a man of all say, full of the spirit. It's 6 and 27. Yes. Yes. You can't say amen. Amen. You know, you can labor for food that will spoil the next day. Ah! You can buy stuff and say, man, I just bought it, but it's already green. It's already green. green. Right. It's an ice box. It's green. It's green. Mm -hmm. right. You can't eat. But it's a labor. It, 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 it won't go bad. It, 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 it won't deteriorate. It won't deteriorate. But, but you know what? It'll last forever. He told the lady that to wear the water you drink. The water you drink. It's going to come to everlasting. Hallelujah. This labor turns in the different day. He said, do not labor for the food. That's right. Which perish. That's right. But for the food which endure to everlasting life. And I'm telling you, it's a labor that causes you to understand the scripture. It's a labor that God has given us according to the spirit that elevates us in spiritual knowledge. It causes our labor to elevate. Because we're laboring no more for the food. We'll start the labor for spiritual knowledge and spiritual understanding. We're laboring now to understand the true meaning of love. Yes, Lord. He said, I want to teach you a love that will set you free. Yes, sir. I want to teach you a love that's going to elevate you. <clears throat> and I'm going to use it. I'm going to use that in your physical love. I'm going to use your physical love, uh, labor to teach you this love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this labor that we need to learn is laboring for the word. Mm -hmm. Understanding how to be steadfast under the word. In the
been so full of the Word of God, huh? so full of the That's Spirit right. of God, right. you don't right. even want to eat. That's right. Come on now. He'll take you to a place where food can't go. Can't Come on go. now. Your right. body dies, but the Spirit lives. Oh! That's right. That's right. If you feed your Spirit, yeah. Yeah. the Holy yeah. Spirit yeah. will overtake your body. Yeah. Come on now. The thirst is a hunger for your body. Your Spirit should rule your body. Rule. Oh. My Spirit should be in control of my body. Yes, sir. My Spirit dictates what my mind. In my mind, I'm in control of my body wants. This is the spirit. The spirit, the spirit which returns to God. I got to hear what the spirit says to the church. To the church. Yes, I Lord. my spirit in my body would be fed. Oh, be hallelujah. He says, let's go to John 5 and 4. Whatever is born of God. First John. Uh, in other words, when we are born again, we are born of spirit and truth. Not of flesh and blood. First John chapter 5. When you think, say amen. When we're born again, we're born of the spirit, not flesh and blood. That was our first birth. This is our second birth. First John uh, chapter 5. Amen. You know, we, we, we have a victory that overcomes the world. Overcomes the world. In Christ Jesus. Five, five. Go, let's start at 5 and 4. First John 5 and 4. Amen. Whatever is born of God. That, that, that's a powerful statement, ain't it? Sure is. Well, yeah. sure As a believer. Sure is. And he, he didn't say the, 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 the food, the, the taste is on me. He said, whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever. Whatsoever is born of God. Born of God. Oh, in other words, you are in the running and you have accepted Christ. You accepted Christ. He's talking to you. If I have accepted Christ and say, I. Within me, I have the power to overcome the world. Overcome the world. For what, whatever is born of God overcome the overcomes the world. That's right. Yeah. And this yeah. is yeah. the victory. Mm. This is the victory. Yeah. Well, overcome the world. <laughs> that has overcome the world with our faith. Even our faith. Who is this person that does this? Mm -hmm. Who is he who overcomes the world? Overcome the world. But he who believes. They keep. That Jesus, and you know what's so, so simple in the Bible just breaks our brain. It ain't all this stuff you think. It's right there. It's right there. It's it's you know what? All everything in life starts and ends with Jesus. That's right. And that's all he's saying is, I am your salvation. And all he's saying, everything I put in your salvation is overcomes the world. He said everything I gave you in salvation has the power to overcome. Yeah. That's what yeah. the book says. It says, by grace, you're saved through faith. Through faith. And he's saying, that new birth, that born again experience, has so much of spiritual power just resting in it, <laughs> that you can, you can elevate it. If you begin to understand that I must believe that he is the yes. son of the living, living God. God. Yes. He's the son of the living God. He, he, he came, he was alive, he died, and he got up again. Yeah, I'm, I'm the Bible right. said he marched him up to right. with the with right. wooden cross on all his right. shoulder. That's right. They marched him up to carry and they began to nail with yeah. his hands to the cross and yes, ripped his feet. Yes, sir. Then they laid his hand in the lock of his shoulder. Yes, but what did he say? He said, Oh, dead, where is your sin? No, no, no. Oh, grave, where is your victory? Oh, now, what is the victory? The victory is, is those that have overcome the world. Yes, He's our eternal life, and he's our elder brother. Yeah. 
He's making intercession for us. Thank you, Jesus. What? He's like, come to the throne of grace. I make your intercession now. Let's give him a hand clap. Hallelujah, God.